We were about to shut down GM's largest moneymaker in Arlington, Texas. The company knew those members were ready to walk immediately. And just that threat has provided a transformative win. Tonight, a major development in the United Auto Workers strike. In the last few hours, the head of the union announced their targeted work stoppage will not be expanding after making major headway with Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. It could be a sign that this unprecedented strike may be nearing an end. Jennifer Hoff was with striking workers at the GM facility in Hudson, Wisconsin today, where they aren't celebrating just quite yet. Jennifer? Not quite. It was certainly the chilliest day of this strike, too. And two VIPs joined the striking workers. But despite this major progress just announced, there is another plant in Wisconsin that is still getting ready to strike. It's now been two weeks and workers continue to walk the picket line at the General Motors distribution plant in Hudson. Yes. That the local union president. Uh, they're part of our local. Sees no sign of stopping despite major negotiation breakthroughs. They're making progress, but there's more progress to be made yet. Our strike is working. Today's update from the head of the entire auto workers union was the first without announcing any new strikes saying progress has been made among the big three from pay to profit sharing, giving workers a bigger piece of the pie. Good to see you Good again. See it's you been again. four years. Something Minnesota Senator Tina Smith is backing. Just in the last six months of this year, they've made over $21 billion in profit. Meanwhile, over the last 30 years, the wages of United Auto Workers have stagnated. Smith was here four years ago when GM workers last went on strike, now reintroducing what's called the PRO Act to strengthen federal labor laws. Unfortunately, as we see today, you know, that hope hasn't materialized. And that's why they have to take the tough uh, step, um, but really important step. Steps that still haven't stopped day or night as people are positive, maybe now they're at least moving in the right direction. We're hoping that we all get solid contracts that both the company and the union can live with and, and we get back to work and, and supply our customers with, with the things that they need. So besides Hudson, their workers at a plant in Menominee are still ready to strike about 40 of them at the Ford distribution plant, the company that continues to lag behind in negotiations, according to Sean Fain. Now, if both of these plants in Wisconsin, the one in Hudson and Menominee go on strike, it really could impact a lot of dealerships, 11 of them, in fact, across the upper Midwest here, which would make getting parts for your vehicle if you need it that much more harder.